Community calls can be found at immoralhole.com. I M M O R A L H O L E.com. The show is brought to you by patrons such as Prankcast wishes your mom a happy Mother's Day, if you know what I mean. Phone Losers of America, Gobi, Lean, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Gordo, Crispy, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show as well as supporting the Madhouse Restoration Project, of which you can find out more at patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. You can also find out more about the show itself at immoralhole.com. That's I-M-M-O-R-A-L-H-O-L-E.com. Thank you for calling Travelodge by Wyndham Fort Bragg. This is Joey. How may I help you? Joey, do you know where my mom's at? Stop trying to prank Joey. Call. Have a good day. No. Oh, what are you talking what? about, Joey? I'm really, like, I'm being honest here. She, she left me in the room, Joey. She left me in the room, and I smoked too much, and I don't know what's going on. This isn't a prank, Joey. I'm sorry. What are you this? talking about? I'm in the room. I'm looking at the TV right now. There's, like, some weird-ass fucking picture on here, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. What the fuck? I called. No, I don't need an ambulance. I just need someone to hold my hand. I just need someone to hold my hand. So where's my mom? I do not know. Jesus, Joey, you didn't need to be such an asshole. I, this is a crank call, isn't it? No, it's not. What room number are you? <gasps> huh? What room number are you? Uh, I think it's room number 12. <sighs> what do you think about this, Joey? What's your name? Yeah, I'm thinking this either crank call or I need to call the ambulance for you. No, no, Joey, you don't need to call an ambulance for me. I need you to get off your fucking sad ass and come to my room and just sit on the bed and hold my hand. Yeah, have a good day. Asshole. I know. Classic in the milk. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi. I'm trying to get a squeaky valve replaced in the room here. I keep turning it on and off in the in the in the bathroom, and it keeps going. Like it makes sounds like it's like a wheezing old man. I don't know what what's going on with these pipes here, man. What room you're in? Well, I'm in the bathroom. That's where the pipes are. You know. That's the typical place that you find pipes in a hotel room. I mean, I've been in places, you know, where the, there were pipes sticking out of the wall, but I don't think they were supposed to be in the room like that. I think someone had taken, like, you know, the copper or something and sold it for, you know, some cash. Because, you know, gas is real high these days. you got to get gas with all the yeah, copper uh, in the I'm, walls, I'm, I'm you know? Sorry about your, I'm, I'm sorry about your problem, but I just want to make sure that what room you're in right now? Oh, the bathroom. Yeah, I thought we went over this. Yeah, so I'm in the bathroom here, and when I turn on the knobs, it, it sounds like an old man wheezing to make the water go. I, I understand. What, what, it's what just an old man right? wheezing. Well, That's all I hear. There's no water. It's just old man wheezing. Here, let me give it. Let me give it the phone. Here, Dad, take the phone. Okay, Dad's not talking. Dad got lost. I think he, he might have taken the pipes. Hello, Shani. Hello. What's the next Good one? evening, National 9. Hello? Hello? Hi, Hi. National. Hi. Hello. 
How are you doing tonight? Good, thank you. How about yourself? Oh, I'm doing gravy. I ate gravy earlier. It was really good and tasty. Good, okay. Yeah. Do you like gravy? I had it with mashed potatoes. It was really tasty. How can you I like help? gravy? I'm sorry, what was that? Do you like gravy? I like gravy. Some people. Yeah. You're an idiot. I like you. I like you. No. I have no idea where any of this is. Hello? Hello, wake up, wake up, wake up. Pick up the phone, wake up, it's time to wake up. Wake up, wake up, are you there? Hello, 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 are you there? Hello, yay, you're there, yay. Hi, Kathy, yay. How are you doing? Oh, oh, this is Frank, I'm calling about the bees I got outside. Oh, bees. <laughs> Yeah. Late to call, isn't it? Go out and get me. Yeah, it's a problem. I was out all day, you know, and, and my kids, you know, and they were they were talking about B day. It's it's B day, Dad. It's B day. And I thought they were talking, you know, dirty to me, but no, it's actually it's the World B day. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That was nice to know. How about that? Yeah. So I'm just sitting here calling everybody in town that can deal with the bees because they're they're well, everywhere. Well, let me ask you, what have you what's the what happened and did it just happen? Have you got a swarm? What is going on? Oh, I, it's not a swarm. It's like one or two, but I see them. They're they're knocking into my my windows every morning. My kids are terrified. They think they're going to be eaten by the bees. <laughs> well, you have a computer, don't you? No. I was uh, given this list by a friend. Uh, well, you need to uh, go to the library and get on the computer and check your kids with you and let them get informed. Okay, but how do we get rid of the giant bees? Because these things are like three uh, feet well, across. You, may not, you might have carpenter bees and not honeybees. Have you seen these giant three foot wide bugs though? They're, they're, they're giant. They keep knocking into the windows. They're scaring the kids here. Well, sir, um, maybe you need to put up uh, some kind of no pin strips around. Well, they got these cameras and, and they buzz around and they're, they're spying on us. Okay, well, listen, uh, in the morning, call David Glover. He can answer you better than I can. He's a oh Bartlett yeah. Bartlett Bartlett okay, I'll give him a call in the morning. Okay, we'll call Danny Glover next. Okay, thank you for permission. All right. <laughs> I got know permission. Danny Glover. I actually met the guy, dude. Right? So I got like picture, autograph, the whole bit. Yeah, man. So cool. It's not Danny Glover, <laughs> but that's you know. But I when I read the the, the file that I was handed, um, I thought his name was Danny Glover. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? No, no. Oh, oh, oh no, it's not. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he lives uh, in San Francisco, actually. Yeah. That's funny. Bartley, what's for this is David. Can I help you? Hello, David. Are you a bee man? I am. Are you really in Sioux City? What? So, are you really in Sioux City? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what can I do for you? I got a problem with bees. Okay. Outside are you are you the house? one that messaged me? <clears throat> are you I the one that messaged, messaged me you. earlier? I'm not sure if it went Facebook? through, but I, I I said, Oh, I'm having a problem with bees. I typed it out. That could have been me. And, and I'm out of state. Have are you in Tennessee or are you out of state? Out of state. Is this Alyssa Smith? 
No, it's not Alyssa. Okay. Then how can I help you and where are you located? I'm in Sioux City. Okay, you are in Sioux City, uh, Iowa. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm in Memphis, I've, Tennessee. I've got, okay. Do you so travel? Do you have, <clears throat> I do, but I don't go to Iowa. So I got a call for France. What do you got against that was Iowa? A good idea. Nothing against <laughs> Iowa. It's just a long drive. I don't think I can make it there and back in one day. Take a plane. Take a plane. Well, then I'd have to buy a bunch of equipment once I got there. Mm. So You can't pack it up with you? No, not on the plane. They won't let me bring my knives. Oh, <laughs> your knives? Yep, my knives. Yep. So, do you have a swarm of bees hanging around on the house, or do you have bees that have actually moved into your house? They haven't come inside yet, but they're all up all over the wall. Okay, do you have a picture of that? I can draw a picture, I guess. I mean, take a picture or a photo? My camera's busted. Okay, uh, your cell phone? Yeah, the camera on my cell phone is busted. Okay. Uh, if you could get somebody uh, to get a video or a photo and have them I text it to this person. Ma'am? I could try to describe Ah? Uh? Try to describe it to me? Okay. About yeah. how big is the, is the mass of these? It's like a, it like goes like goes whoosh, up about like a five feet or so. About five feet. Is it long or is it circular? It's kind of long. Okay. Is it above or below the first floor of your house? It starts it, on the know? bottom and it works. It's about about half fifty fifty. About half of the first floor. Yes. They're very okay. silly bees. <clears throat> okay. They're just hanging there right now. So Yeah, you must they're, probably, they're chilling. Uh, you, have a, well, you must probably have a swarm on the side of your house, and they're looking for a place to move. So we're in swarm season. It's how the hives reproduce. And they've been left with the old queen and about half the colony. And they, they're taking a rest off on your house. Now, the problem with them resting on your house is while they're there, they're going to look at nooks and crannies on, on the walls to see if they can find a place to move into. So my recommendation is to reach right. out to your Should I county. move out? Should I no, move into move my out. car? No. <laughs> you should be good right there. They, they, they're not going to come into the living space of your home. They're going to move into a space in your walls or is there your ceiling. Is there, right now, is, there, is there an incantation that I can say to be like, bees, ye, bee, keep no. away three? <clears throat> no. Uh, it doesn't, like doesn't work in very well. Life. Sort of like you ram you to the unknown self be true from, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember what the name that movie was, but. Uh, what I recommend is reach out to your county extension agent, and they should have a list of beekeepers who are willing to come and get swarms. And uh, they can have somebody out there tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. I tried blowing marijuana smoke in their faces, but they seem to Doesn't like work. it. No, they don't really. It makes them lethargic. The smoke confuses their huh. ability to communicate with each other, whether whether it's uh, marijuana or grass or it's uh, old blue jeans, whatever we use in our smokers, um, smoke, they speak with pheromones. So it confuses their ability to talk to each other. Oh, no. That makes me feel sad now. Yeah, it's like turning the TV up really loud and trying to have a conversation with Granny. Just not going to happen. Oh, I don't know. 
Is there, is it, can you put uh, like a woman on the phone, please? Well, I could, but she's not the beekeeper. Okay. I thought that, so, I always thought that women knew more about bees because of like the buzzing <laughs> and like the phrase, the phrase no. bee in your bonnet. Well, bees have been in a lot of bonnets and about 200 years ago, women were the actual beekeepers, not the men. But you go back about huh. 4,000 years, and the men were the beekeepers again, not the women. And if you go back uh, even more than that, say 8,000 years, and it's the guys again, and they were basically just honey gatherers, not keepers. They would just go to uh, crevices in cliffs or in trees, and they would harvest honey from there and bring home. Oh, so, can you give a bee a little high five? You can, as long as they're not in a hive. So they, they, are, they are social, but when it comes to their hive itself, they're very defensive of it. So what I'm going to do, I've got you on the phone right now. I'm going to see if I can send you a text. This is for the Woodbury County Extension. You call them in the morning. Okay. And they will uh, tell you who the beekeeper is in your area who could come and get the swarm. We actually oh. work with extension agents in all, the, in all the states. And if he doesn't know or she doesn't know who the, the beekeepers are, he, they can get you the number to the local beekeeping oh, association. Ma'am? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll get this texted to you with what you need to ask for. And they should be able to get somebody tomorrow to help you with the swarm, okay? Should and I what's put your the name? beans in my shirt? My name is Mimi. In your where? Mimi? In my, in my shirt. I'm putting the bees in my shirt. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. It's for you or the bees. Because, oh. oh. It may like be exhilarating, hair. but now the problem with it is, is that if they get in there and they get stung, if you get stung by them, then the bees die. They lose their stingers. Oh no! So, so we do everything we can to avoid killing them. So, uh, if they sting you defensively, unfortunately, uh, it kills them. So, try not to try not to mess with them. Okay. But I'll get a text okay. to you here shortly, just in the next minute or two. Okay. Are you going to text me your picture? No. My, <laughs> my picture's on, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You can see me there. Uh, but you have a TikTok? I, did. I do. Is it about do you <laughs> do stuff guy. with bees? I do with bees. I do, I do things with bees. So it's, it's about what we can do with bees. So, yeah. Him boy. And, uh, and there's a lot more. It's, uh, it's Bartlett Bee Whisperer. <laughs> and and uh, some of it's kind Bee of crazy whisperer? looking. Yep. Wait, you're kind of crazy looking? I look like an old man. How old are you? Well,. Today I feel 12 years old. Some days I feel 80, but uh, I'm in my 50s. Huh. Old enough to be, have gray hair and a gray beard. <clears throat> and you look like an old man, but you have youthful That's types. I, I do have a very youthful personality, and because of what I do with bees, I'm physically active and I continue, I continue moving. Whereas uh, other people my age have slowed down. I work with kids. You're good at I work with. I try. I try. I work with kids. I work with uh, youth and college Aww. kids to uh, teach them about bees and uh, and try to help the the whole environment. And help bees get into college. 
Uh, we do actually, uh, I have set up bees at colleges for the uh, science programs. So they've gotten free bees from me. And the bees they don't have gotten get the free education? <laughs> no, they don't. I don't know if they get educated there, but the kids are educated on bees and how our environment needs them. You're being, hey, hey, you're being a buzzkill. I'm not trying. <laughs> Uh, on a lighter note, I've been sober for 34 years. You've been what? Yeah. Sober for 34 oh, years. Oh, uh, how is that relevant? Well, you said I was a buzzkill. Oh, but like, because you, you were, you were like. I had an idea. Every time I have an idea, you'd be like, oh, well, actually, blah, blah, blah. And you keep oh, doing well, that. I, I educate. I educate. <clears throat> so I try to make sure that people oh, have the right information. Okay. It's in a way that kind of so the right information. Away <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to text out to you shortly. What are you doing okay. tonight? Um, was eating pizza. What kind of pizza? Domino's. You put honey on it? No. I like, I like the uh, marinara sauce, the tomato sauce they put on it. Okay, that's great. Okay. I'm going to get back to my pizza, so enjoy your evening. All right. I love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I love you, too. Love everybody. Oh, You're supposed to. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. That's cool. Well, we'll see you, Mimi, in Sioux City. Ohio. And I'll have a text out yeah. shortly. Okay? All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. 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 Can Hello. I help you? Yes, Talk, can I, help um, you? I have a swarm. Yes, I have a swarm of bees outside my house. Bees. Okay. okay. Is it buzzing uh, to and fro? There's a whole lot of them. Huh? They're, they're buzzing to and fro. Boo, boo, you, boo. Uh, buzzing. Yeah. Can you send me, uh, uh, text me your address and a picture? Yes, of it? What, what, huh? One second. My, my wife is, my wife is here. She has dementia and she's attracted to the bees and she's allowed them in our home. There's bees okay. all over. Yes, they're in the room and they're in the kitchen and the dining room. Yeah. Oh, it's so she's sweet. Yeah. She's got honey on her. How, how, how do I fix this? Uh, I'm going to give you a number of a person to call. To get them out of houses? Are you ready? What? Are you ready for the number? Huh? I don't get them out of houses. Yeah, I know. Mary is so good. Miriam, talk to him. Hello. Hello. I'll be across the beach. I require more bees. Have you got some? I've got some from Danny. Danny Clever came to me. And he. Are they in the house? I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm being penetrated by bees. Oh. 
and then stinging her all over her genitals. I, I'm not oh. sure what to do. <gasps> yes. Stephanie, yeah. you there? Yep, yeah, I can do give I you do? a number to call. I can give you a number to call. What 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 are they gonna do? They are ones that get them out of people's houses. They can't you do that? I, I, we're elderly. We don't get out very much, and Miriam's naked. Yes. They're curling in all of the crevices where the babies come from and where the poop comes out. That's, that's sad. Yes, the, the bees have made a home inside of her. Wow. They made me sad. Get the bees out. Get them out. I can't. I've tried. I've got a flashlight and pliers, and I, I tried moving around for a while, but I got lost in her lower colon. Huh. Well, she probably needs to go to the doctor. I, I, <laughs> I lost my wristwatch. I would take her to the doctor. The doctor said no more bees, so I got myself more bees from Mr. Glover. And he, he said they more bees. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to have a good time. You're going to have a good time. You're going to have a good time. It's very sad, so she actually has the terminal cancer as well as dementia. I just, she keeps forgetting. Well, he said she you. had the big C, not not the B. He said she had the big C, and she's confused. Right, right. Yes, a granddaughter. She also had the terminal cancer. Died in my arms. Very sad. Am I really making if I was her, I would, if I were you, I would take her to the emergency room. I am not in emergency care. I'm perfectly sane, but I love the bees. I don't want them in my cloaca. We don't have insurance. We fell into the Medicare donut hole. Can well, you help they us? Have to do they have Please? to do something at the hospital. They have to do something there. They can't run your way. Can I acquire some bees for my aching fanny? How much is the bees? Can you bring us more bees? No. Sir? I need more no. bees. I, I long to have heavy we bees. Them. There's some Yeah, former. Hello? Hi, uh, I have some questions. Hi, are you there? Yes. Um, I have some questions about bees, and I'm hoping that you can answer them for me. Okay. Um, I have to do a report on them for school, and I have a couple questions, so can you answer them? My, yeah, I got a few minutes. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so how many bees make up a hive? Good question. I mean, it depends, on how big the, it depends on how big the hive is. Like, like you can have, different sizes? Oh, yeah. There's different sizes. I mean, you can have a hive with only one box. You can have a hive with two boxes, four boxes, five boxes. I mean... Okay, that's like that's too complicated for me, so let's move on to the second <laughs> question. Um, so how can you tell if a boy is like a girl or a bee? There's only one girl, and that's the queen. Oh, okay, so what does she do? She lays eggs. Ugh. Okay, and like what do the eggs do? Do they just grow into other bees? 
And you got worker bees and drone bees. Oh, the sure. drone, okay. The drone bees basically stay in the hive. The worker bee and the drone bees can't sting. Or maybe I got it backwards. Google it. And the worker bees go out and forage for honey or for pollen. Okay, so like what bees can sting then? Like what's the point if they can't sting? The worker bees can sting. Okay. Um, well then, all right, let's move on. Um, so what is honey exactly? Like, can you explain that to me? What's what? What's honey exactly? That's what like the, the stuff bees make. Yeah. Well, how do they make it? Look it up on Google. I couldn't tell you the process. I gotta go. Uh, okay. Sorry. Right. Um, oh no! Please, please stay. We have more questions. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I can. Who is this? This is Mimi. Who? Mimi. So who is Mimi? I'm calling. Do you, I'm sorry. I'm going through some things. It's a difficult time for me right now, and I'm trying to just be orderly and uh, speak clearly on the phone. Uh, I have some questions about bees. Okay. What kind of question? What you, um, if I have one, if I find one outside and I bring it inside, can I have it as a pet? <laughs> no. Not Why at not? all. You, they are not pets. They are wild creatures, and they are not pets. But, but I've seen it on TV, and it's... No, you haven't. Like... <clears throat> Or she put them in the freezer. And do what? Because then, like that, slows them down. So that then you can put um, put them on a leash, like a little dental floss leash. Uh huh. Oh God, have you been drinking? No, no, sir. Yeah, you might ought to think about it because that will not work. No, ma'am. Well, not oh, work. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. You're educating me. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. Oops. What, uh, what other questions do you have? Do bees really like to do work? They work all the time. Is it fun for them? I could not tell you. They do. They work 24 hours a day. They don't sleep? They do not sleep. Really? Really. That sounds that's crazy. I can't imagine being a bee. Well, that's the way it is, though. Do bees, do bees really like violence? Do what? Do bees like violence? Could not tell you. Most bees are not violent. Do you violent. know? Oh. Huh. Do bees like the police? They love them. Now, are we having oh. a good time? Because this is not making any sense at all. I'm trying to educate myself about the bees, and I'm learning. I'm learning that you don't put them in the freezer. No. You don't put them in the freezer. They're not good pets. They are not pets at all. How fast are they? Mimi. How what? Yes. Yes. What are you doing on the phone? He's telling me about bees. Who's telling?
telling you about bees, sweetheart? The bee man. The bee. Who's the bee man? Sir, tell tell her who you, who you are. Uh, hello. I'm not, I'm, you made the phone call, so you hello? evidently you. Hello. Uh, hello. Who the fuck are you, and why are you talking to my Mimi? Hello. Yeah, lawnmower. Hello. A lawnmower. Uh, they're all gone. You stupid motherfucker! Yeah, Take the ass I down. got. Hello. Hey, goat. What's that? Goats? Say that again. Goats. 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 Goats! 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 Oh shit, we talking about goats? Fuck that guy! Hey, fuck that guy! Goats. We're calling about the Nigerian dwarf goats. Hello? All the scammer goats. God damn it. Hello? Hi, I'm calling about the Nigerian dwarf goats. Do you still have them? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, okay, what's the price on them? What, what do you want for them? Scammer goats? Who's this? This is Frankie. Oh, ask him what scammer goats are. What? You're calling about... No, I'm calling about the goats. And a scammer goat, that's a 419. Scammer 419, yeah. Remember those? Back in the day? No. Oh. Yeah, the Nigerian uh, scammers. They There's a code they use. It's like 419. It's not like the good code, like 420, you know? You know what 420 is, right? Oh, yeah. Merge along. Sounds like oh, you good. do, too. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Is that why you're so calling how are the at night? Well, yeah, I mean, I work late, and I have my kid here, and he's, you know, he's an annoyance, but, I, you know, that's how it goes. Oh, uh, where'd you he hear likes, about he the He likes goats? to look at the goats. Well, I heard on the radio machine. Okay. Uh, they sitting in, and they said, oh, you know, Nigerian dwarf goats. Where do you number. live? Where do you live? Oh, I live around the bend, yeah. I moved here recently. Yeah. What? Where, where do you live, though? I'm right here. Goats. I don't, I don't like to talk too much about where I live. I mean, I, I don't see how that has anything to do with goats, really. Well, what part of goats. town? Right here, right by the, the, you know, it's the kind of city side. Or fishing ranch. But yeah, this is this is my uh, my caretaker with me. Can you okay. hear me now? Well, you have a, you have a great night. Can you hear my caretaker? Can you hear him? Can you hear me now? Goats. Can you hear me now? Goats. Goats. Oh, oh hello. Hello? Hi, you have the RV batteries? Uh, no, they're gone. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. I wanted to throw them in the ocean. Tell you recharge. <laughs> why, the fuck, why, the, why the fuck is the ad still up if you don't have the batteries? Motherfucker! Who That's are illegal on the phone. Hello? What? Hi, this is Pilot. How can I help you? Hey. Hello. 
Hello? Hello, this so, is Pilot. Hey, Pilot, so one of your guys' workers is right here, and she came in my truck. Hello. Um, workers? Your name is, what's your, what's your name? What's your name? Uh, Daniel. My name? Daniel, yeah, hey, that, that's what she said sent her over here. Yeah, Daniel sent Daniel? Where, where are you? Why is she saying that? Who uh, sent you over you? here? Daniel. Uh, hey, who sent you over here? You said Daniel, right? Yeah, Daniel sent me. Why would she say that, bro? What? What's this lady's name? Me? Yeah, I, dude, it's her. She works with you. She has a pilot shirt on. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's a prank call. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, you're going to have to figure that out yourself. It's not My a prank call. Man. It's not a prank call. It's not a prank call. Uh-oh. Damn it. Prank call? <laughs> it's not a prank call. Hello? You're from Iowa? Excuse me? Neil? What did you just say to me? Hello? What, you're calling from Iowa? I'm calling for the hospital bed. Now, are we going to talk business, or are we just going to ask each other where we're from? Yeah, it's still for sale. All right. How much you want for that? Uh, I'll give you double. It's single. I'll give you $200, you see? You see, what happened is I, I'm an adult film director, and I got my... Um, one of my main actors right here, his name is Milkman. We got this scene we're going to shoot where I fuck him in his ass and I sit him in a wheelchair and I kind of bend him backwards, pull the wheels close like this, and he just scoots on my cock. And then I'm going to lay him down on the on the, on the the hospital bed. I'm going to pretend I'm a doctor. I'm going to start examining his ass, his, his anus. I'm going to give him, you know, a good old prostate exam. I'm going to see how far I can shove my finger. Yeah. A snowblower in May? What's up? A snowblower Hello? in May? What the fuck? What's the matter with you? Someone a snowblower? Chuck? Yeah, my is name this... is uh Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. What's Yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm the fuck you selling the snow. What the fuck you selling a snowblower in May for? What's the matter with Because I got two of them. Why wouldn't What'd I? What'd you do with... Why'd you get two? Why? Charlie, is this you? Are they... Are they good for, like... I don't know. Grinding up Teslas? You know, to own the libs? Can we do that? <laughs> it's a two-stage. You might be able to grind something up. Yeah. Awesome. I'm not into batteries. I'm not into batteries. Oh, yeah. I want to... Yeah, I heard he paid for sex, so I want to go around the neighborhood and there's some lib next door who bought a Tesla. I want to grind up the back of it with snowblower. Oh, Habibi. I've got the, I've got the snowblower to do it. I'll awesome, deliver it. Man. Cool. You want to you hey, go uh, to the mall? Ask him if his wife's still got a big old ass on her. You hear me? You hear my buddy who, over who, here? Who, who is this, Charlie? Yeah, but I got some weirdos over here with me. I ain't weird. I'm at the, I'm I'm at the Stoke Home. Yeah, I'm at I the Stone Cold enough. Creamery. Oh. I don't know. This is guy here at the Stone Cold Creamery, and uh, I don't know. He's been following me around. He says he's hungry. I ain't gay or nothing. No, I told him I buy him an I, I told him I buy an ice cream if he was a Trump supporter. I love Trump. Okay, so you're not upside down you in the borrow ditch, right? 
Wait, sir, you just said, okay, I'm gay. That's what I heard. Hey, don't talk about my friend like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Wow. Sir, if you would like to come to our shoot, I can invite you. Hey, what's up, bro? How's your wife? Hey. Hey. Don't don't listen to them. They've got that monkey pox that started going around. I think we should do a scene on the Coldstone Creamery Stone. Cool. It's nice and cool. Uh oh. Hello? 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 Are you the fella who has a vehicle? Uh, just a moment, please, John. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right, sir. Hello? Hello? Are you the man that has a vehicle? Are you the man that has a vehicle? Oh, uh, well, I got a pickup out here for sale, yeah. Need some more. Oh, uh, okay. What what uh what model is that? What what's your model on that? Uh it's a well first of all it's a Dodge pickup, extended cab, and it is a two thousand one. <clears throat> There's uh it's four wheel drive, you know, automatic, all that crap. Uh, it has a little bit of a motor problem. It runs and drives. I'm going to sell it as is for $3,500. bucks. it has got a, just the one seat bench seat, or has it got the, the, the back seat, too? It's got the back seat. Oh, uh, so it's got, the, it's got the double seat. Yeah, well, it's, you know, them suicide door ones, extended cab. It's not a crew cab, but it's extended cab. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not a full-on one. It's that little, little cramped up one then, right? You kind of like sit sideways kind of number. Is that the one? Well, it's got a back seat in it. I, I guess it depends on how big you are or kids or whatever. Oh. Big oh okay, heart. okay. Yeah. How tall? How tall is the dash off the floor? Off the floorboard? How tall up is the dash off the floorboard? Uh, well, I've got some, I got visual I, problems. I, hmm. Oh how well, how tall? Uh, uh, well, I'm trying to think what I could tell you. It's a standard size from floor to the top of the dash, just like any other pickup. I don't know what that would be. I see. Uh, Okay, I, I, I've got visual problems. I've got a I've got a driver that usually he, he's pretty. He's not very tall though, and I just was hoping that it would be, you know, tall enough to accommodate him. You know, his name's Carlos. He's my CNI monkey, and and he drives for me. And uh, anytime where we you, need a translation, where, we use the Google Translator. Yeah. Where uh, where where are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling for my cell phone. Oh, no, I mean, what? Uh, I'm in Haver, Montana. Okay, okay, that's not a problem. We can get to you. We're not too far. Uh, uh, yeah. We're at Horse Machine Ranch Road. Yeah. Just off a of horse machine ranch road. Actually, I, actually, that's that's my driver. He's got the the Google Translator on there. Carlos, the pet my my pet C and I my pet C and I driver. Uh, Carlos, could you explain to him, please? Hello, sir. Yes. Yeah. What? What, hey, what can you tell me about up? the truck? How long have you had this truck? How long have you had this truck? Well, I haven't had it very long. I took it in on a trade on another one, and it's got some motor issues. It's uh, I put new plugs in it, new plug wires, new cap rotor, all that stuff, new battery, and uh, uh, I'm not sure, but it's got some bad old two sensors. It's going to need repair before you can drive it very far. Do you, so does that thing run rough? 
Yeah, it does run rough. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It runs rough. And then, uh, can you put it in bark? Can I put it in park? Yeah. Yeah, can you put it in bark? Okay. So there's nothing wrong with the transmission yeah. or anything like Okay. Oh, no. Can you no, drive no, a doggy no, style? No, no, it's... You can drive it. What? Have you ever had a dog a dog in it? Have you ever had a dog driving in it with you? No. Okay. So you said that's an extended cab? Yes, it is. Yep. <laughs> All right. And it's 30 and that motherfucker's 3500 firm? <laughs> yeah, pretty firm, yeah. God damn it. Motherfucker. All right. Um so the extended cab is that big enough to fit your fat ass in it, or that thing hauls a ton of shit in the back of it? Excuse me, sir. Can it fit your fat ass in it? I got a ton of shit right here. I just took a huge one. Could that hold in all of it in the back of your truck, Doctor? Thank you for calling America's Best Value and in Dunning. Hey, Bappy's in the shower. Oh, what was I'm that? taking a shower, and I needed a towel. Who is this man that you sent to my shower? Um, I didn't send anyone. Which room number is this? No, I'm in the bathroom. Um, which room number is this? Or what the is one the that name? You sent the, the room that you sent the towel man to. I, there's no towel man at this hotel. You made a towel man, you need a old... towel? Sure, I'll take one. Thank you. Here's right here, take it. Thanks. These are nice um, towels, though. Are you sure you're calling the right place? Are... Thank you, dog, good towels. What was that? Are you saying you don't have good towels? We have the towels here at the office. There's no towel man. Who brought me these towels then? I'm not sure who okay. that was. Did you get my towel? I got your towel right here, right here. Come get it. Come on. Come get it towel. Which room number are you in? He has more towels down in the van. He said we can go get some more. Oh, sir, hey, come on, come look at my van in the back. I got towels for you. Come on, hey. I got a puppy. Move a puppy. Jose, Jose, you got the towels, Jose? Come look at my van. I got the towels. They're coming. Come on. Hello, more am talking to you. Hello, how, hey, how you doing, man? Good. Let's, hey, I'm come, I'm out of town. I just got in. Uh, I'm driving a rental car here, and uh, I need a direction, dude. Oh, which side do you come, north or south? Uh, south. South? Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> Oh, my latte spilled. Oh, you shit, man, you okay? You okay, man? Yeah, my latte spilled all over me. Hey, come here. I got a towel. I got a towel for you. Come here. I could use the towel for my, come in my van. latte. Come, here. come in my van. Sir? We're come okay. Here, Are you still there? We're trying to get to the hotel still. Oh, fucking yeah. Come on. Come to my van, man. Yeah. Drop my flip flop. All right, guys. I'll be back in about 45 minutes. Bye. Hey, bye. Bye. 
Hi, where do I put my car when I get there? Is there room in the, in the room for the car to go? Cargo. Yeah, cargo. Where does cargo? <clears throat> you have a room here? Yeah, I have room, and I, I want to put the car in the room with me so I can sleep with the car. You know? Car you cannot put in the room. Well, what... <sighs> How can I, you know, how can I be with my wife? Put me in the, the car you can park outside your Oh, here, here's my wife. She's on the phone. Talk to my, my wife. Asshole, I want to be in the room. Her name is Cargo. Where does she go? How, where do I put car? I want to car, you can park husband. on the front of your room, and your wife can stay with your room if she has an ID with her. Okay? But she she comes in with me into the room. That's where car goes. That's she okay. Comes with me. Is that that okay? she can come in, no problem. Okay, so yeah. when I get there, I can drive my car into the room, correct? Your car cannot go into the room. Cargo, your wife can go into the room with you. Understand? Right, my wife is the car. She's talking. What the fuck can I do in the room, you asshole? She's car. Her name is Cargo. So Cargo. Yeah, in the you room. can come down and take the room, no problem. Okay. okay, can she go in the room with me? Her name is Car. She goes in the room. That's the answer I want. Good evening, Motel. Nothing blonde. Hello? Nothing planned. I have nothing planned. I'm supposed to make all these plans, and I have nothing planned. Oops. Honey, I need a room. Okay, okay. Um, were you looking for a one bed or two? I'm looking for a two bed. And um, when's your check-in day? Today? And it has to be multiple rooms. No, it's not going to be today. It's going to be, um, I'm planning for my wedding. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be needing multiple rooms. I mean, like, we're going to be needing, like, this is going to be for the bachelorette party. Oh, and, wow. like, I okay. need, like, the biggest convention. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a shit. Okay, so I'm going to tell you now. There's going to be, like, poop emojis everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I have um, suites. And those come with two queen beds, and those are big okay. rooms. Um, okay. And what day would you going to check in? I'm sorry. Um, it's going to be somewhere around June 21st. June 21st. Okay. It's going to be a Tuesday. And then how long are you staying? We're going to be there for at least three to four days because okay. some of these bitches are going to be so drunk as far. <laughs> okay. So let's put four days. Four days. Yeah, let's do four days. For the suites. And do you need all four suites or? Like, I'm going to be needing all four suites and maybe like one or two extra beds for those like really ratchet bitches that are just going to be throwing up everywhere. Like I'm going to be needing to like tip your housemates because like I don't know what the fuck these bitches are going to be doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Let me write this down. So for yeah, the Yeah, like you might need like a hazmat team. Like, do you have, like, a convention area? Because, like, I honestly do not want to take this outside the building. We do not. Like a rec room? Yeah, like a rec room. Do you have a rec room? No, we don't. The only open area that oh, we, we have a pool, we have a pool area. But the, the suites are pretty big, but it just depends on how many people you're going to have in your room. Oh, see, I don't want to, like, bounce around from room to room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, like, is there any way we can just block off, like, the pool area for the four days or, like, three days at least? Um, you would have to talk to the manager about that one. Uh, when do they come in? 
One more time? I'm sorry. Like, can I go ahead and... Like, one these eight come in? Because, like, I seriously need something like this. Like, this is, like, legit, like... This is gonna be popping off, like, surreal. Like, it's gonna be shook. Okay. Yeah, we don't um, have the rec room. You might be able to get the pool blocked off if you speak with the manager. She's pretty understanding. Um, is she, like... Is she here? There's gonna be some ratchet ass hoes off of this bitch. It's like, is she here? No, she won't be here until Monday morning. She's off on the weekends. Okay. Okay. So you just want to get the price of the rooms real quick, and then figure out the rest on Monday. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. So the for the, yeah. Can I just like get the price for now? Yeah. So for the suites, um, it's gonna be five thirty-two for four nights. Um, okay. And then for and that, and that is per suite or for everything together. That's everything together. That's that's for the that's for the four nights, one suite, five. Damn, I'm not a suite. Wait, 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 wait. What, what is that? What is everything before we get to into it? So for the, the okay for the two bed suite for four nights it's gonna be four thirty two, I mean five thirty two. I'm sorry. And then if you wanted another additional room okay. with two beds as well, it would be four forty four. So all together it'd be like a thousand dollars. Still, that's hella cheap. I mean, like, my dad used to be running bank anyways, uh -huh. so, like, you know, it's it's going to be, it's going to be have to be top, like, top notch anyways. Uh -huh. I mean, like, I mean, um, I mean, he'll, ha he'll just have to pull, like, an extra day at, you know, at work for a couple days. Yeah, maybe. It just has to be that way. I mean, like, he he wants me. He's going to have to pay for me. <laughs> um, so how many guests per room? Um, we really don't even tell you how much you can have in there. It's, it's however much you can fit in there. And we don't say, oh, oh it's only, really? Yeah, we don't be like, oh, it's only four people per room. No, we don't. We don't really care. Okay. Um, and there's no kind of like no fire code, so like I can burn a bitch if I have to. Fire codes. Uh, what do you mean? Like if we get some tiki torches down in this bitch. <laughs> this is Motel 6. Like, I'm set up. <laughs> this is Motel 6. I like how you're, how you work. Oh, I am thinking up my theme right now. This is, oh, sweetheart. This is going to be Dungeons and Dragons. Like, I am, I am the best when it comes to, like, theme parties and everything. Uh -huh. Like, I can I can hook you up with some deals like bouncy castles and and like everything. This is gonna be like fucking goth clown central. Project X. Oh my god. Project X. <laughs> fucking shit. Oh my god. Okay, so I will have to call you back, my dear. Okay. But I am so gonna be like texting my daddy to see if I can get this ball on the fucking road. All right. We'll be here. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. Okay. What? okay. Hello? Hi, Inn. I'm out. I'm looking for a place in. What? Yeah, you got room? You got room at the in and out Burger? The in and out Burger? Well, the hotel, you know, it's an inn. It's where you go in and you, you lay down and you you rest a while. And when you wake up, the, the sun's up and you feel refreshed. And there's no bed bugs, hopefully. But I, I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm booked up. 
You're fucked up? I'm booked up? Oh! Oh! Okay. I got lost there. I'm sorry. So you're hooking up. Well, why, are you on Grinder? I'm, I'm calling. Hello? In. How can I help you? Oh, have I discovered your in? Yes. Oh, how big is your in? We had only ni 19 rooms. How can I help you? Oh, well, if I come in there, are you going to be able to spread it wide? Pardon? Can you spread the doors open wide so I can fit inside the room? Because I'm a very fat man. Oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me put myself on the phone, but I need to find a marker. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm inside the room. Oh, 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 yeah. I've been eating food all day. And I've gotten very, very fat suddenly on the phone. Hello? Yes? Hi, I'm eating the room. Hmm. I'm eating the room. It's very tasty. I'm very fat and I'm eating the bedding and the sheets. Mmm. It tastes very good. Oh. I'm fat. I'm fat. Oh. What do you need, sir, and which room number you are? I need more towels. I ate all the towels in the room. I need more towels. What? Oh. I need more towels. Which room towels. number you are in? I'm in 19. What? I ate the 19. I ate the nine, the one and the nine off the door. <sighs> I need more towels. Whoa. You have to tell me the room number. We don't know. We don't. I need a 19 of eating the towels. It's all bacon ice. We ate the towels in here. Of eating the towels. We don't have room 19 here. Ah. Hey, put my brother on. Hey, brother. Okay, Dwayne, can I help you? Hi, ma'am, how are you doing? Hello? Ma'am, I need help. Yeah. Ma'am, I need help. My ass cheeks are stuck to the toilet seat. I cannot move. I cannot move off the toilet seat. Round is man. Oh, Hello? see, as soon as you answer the phone, every, all the other voices in my head, they stop talking. Like, they're all shy dicks or something. I don't know. Let me put my son on. He, he's the one that wanted me to call you, after all. Come on, take the phone. Hey, 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 hey! Sir, I need help. I need help. I need help. Okay? I went into the bathroom, and your toilet seat is so fucking small, my ass sheets will not come off of the toilet seat. I am, my, my, I, my ass is suctioned to the seat. Which room are you in? <laughs> I'm in the pool. The yeah, pool is closed. <laughs> oh, wait. Hello. Hi. I was talking to you, and then my son was talking to you. Yeah, we, we're in the pool. We went past the door, we got past it, and we're in here, and there's an old lady here, and she's, like, defecating in the pool, and she said that she was your mother. She said she was your mother, and that you like to chode with her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys do that to your mother, so that's why you guys know about that. Thank you. No, no, okay, it's listen you. listen here, you little Terry Maki, you bang stone. I will come over there and shove my penis up your butt. Yeah, that's what you guys do. No, we watch you. We learned it from yeah, you, Dad. Fuck, fuck you. We learned it from you. I got to reboot it. No. Hello, Red Roof. Good. Hi, Red Roof. I'm playing with my organ in the room. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like it when I play with my organ? 
I'm you what touching you're it. Doing. I, I'm rubbing I my understand. organ in the room. I'm in the room and I'm rubbing my organ and I'm making sweet, beautiful love to my organ. Okay, then what? What do you want? <clears throat> oh, I was wondering if you want to come and see me touch my organ. You know? Do you want to see my organ and how I touch it? What's your room number? Oh, I'm over here. I'm near the uh, the office and this this uh, decrepit ice machine. It's been making noise all night, and it's making me touch my organ aggressively. Wesley, how can I help you? Yeah, yeah, hi. I, I need some uh, assistance in my room. Some gentleman, he keeps claiming that he works for you, keeps trying to come in and fold my sheets like they're origami. He keeps making little swans out of my sheets. Uh, where are you calling? I'm calling from my room. And every time I, he comes in here and he folds my sheets, he says, oh, origami, origami. And it's a big sheet. And then he leaves and I number? unfold it and then he folds it back. What is your room number? My room okay. number is 215. There's nobody in 215, so you're calling a wrong location. I'm in 215. I'm in two, hey, ma'am, ma don't make me say fuck to you because I will if you don't believe me. You said I'll it already. Me. You said it already. Okay, well, do, do, well, do you believe me? No, because there is nobody in 215. Okay, well, now I'm going to. Well, now, now I'm in 215, you fuck. Okay, then that's you why I have fuck. to say this. Just hang up already. No, don't say fuck and to check me. the number where you're no, calling you before up. harassing anybody. Hey, origami, origami, origami Jake. Wesley, how can I help you? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. We got interrupted. We got interrupted. Some guy's in here now. He's folding me a rose. Says his name is Michael Schofield, and he has a sheet rose. Uh, what number are you in? I'm in 215, and before you say there's nobody in 215, I can verify I'm in 215. I'm looking at the number now. What hotel are you calling? The toilet hotel. All right, you need to stop calling here, okay? Because you got the wrong number, buddy. No, no, I don't. I don't. What happens if I say fuck, fuck to you on this phone? What I'm going to forward your number to the sheriff. They come here every half an hour, uh -huh. and you can deal with them now, okay? Bye-bye. The, the Sharif? Thank you for calling to me. I help you. Hello? 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 Is this the lady at the front desk? Yes, this is the Hello? front desk. How can I help you? Oh, good. Hi. I'm in my room. I'm here with my, my, my family. And we noticed that there's, uh, you know, there's a lack of towels and also the toilet, it's burping. Is it supposed to burp? What the room number? Well, I'm in the bathroom right now. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on, and I don't have my key with me, and I don't recall. So, unfortunately, I can't give you that information. But what I can give you is an A-plus on the cleaning of the bathroom, but the toilet is, like, talking to us. It's been telling us about a battery being low. Uh, let me put my brother on. He can tell you more about it. And let me give you the phone here. Brother. Hello, I am Brother. I am brother, hear me roar. Hello, ma'am. Hello? Hi. I went and, I went over to uh, to Lowe's or Home, Deep, Home Depot, which one is closest to you, and I got a coin machine and I put it on the toilet. So now nobody can use the toilet in this room without using the coins. They have to pay 50 cents per, per usage. Vapor. What, what is your room number? Uh, well, 215 is not going to work because we already spoke Battery about low. this, but how about 211? Battery low. Are you guys joking? I am joking. Because those rooms are I, no, I, I took the nobody in the room. I took the, batter I took the battery out of the toilet, ma'am. Battery Those low. rooms are vacant. So I want to know what, what's your room number. Battery low. Oh, I'm 111, 111. On first floor because we don't have legs. Oh, I Nothing. know the guest oh, 
yeah. What numbers yeah. I can yeah. Oh, hello. Hi. There's more numbers. Hi. Yes, yes Hi, there there's numbers on the door and there's numbers outside. And which one do I go by? Wait, uh, wait, Because there's mean? a number on the door and my car has a number and it's saying, you know, turn right, but there's a building there. Do I keep, do I turn right or do I just, do I just floor it and just see where it goes? Uh, for the hotel? Yeah, it's telling me go, 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 and it's telling me turn right, turn right, but there's a building there. Do I go? Yeah, yeah you can go. Uh, you can enter I, from both sides. My car? Yeah. You want me to drive my car through the building? That's weird, man. Uh, what do you mean I, I can't understand? I don't know where you're at right now. Well, I'm in the car, hmm? and I'm driving, okay, and the GPS is telling me, you know, what, what, whoa! Hi. Hi. Hi, Ben Chud, Motel. How are you? Your phone is terrible, by the way. Uh, we are good. How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm touching my monkey here and my uh, my organs in my in my room, and we've been playing the organ all night, you know? Mm-hmm. And Wingless's microphone is wide open, and Milkman's coughing, and it's, you know, we're doing stuff in the room, you know? Okay, what room number are you are in? Oh, I'm in the bathroom right now, and I'm playing with my organ. Hello? You know? Hi. Mm-hmm. We're playing yeah. with our organs in, in the room, in the bathroom. Oh, so you are in the bathroom now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what's your question? Oh, uh, I don't know. I got lost. I was I was playing with my organ and it, it squirted goo everywhere. So what room number you are in? Oh, oh, oh. We're in the room with the organs that are being touched and, and massaged and there's goo all about. There's goo on the ceiling, there's goo on the walls. We brought a light with us and we're inspecting the walls and there's just there's just splatterings of, of happiness everywhere. What is your room number? It's the, it's the number that you gave me. You said, you go here, you go here. And then you looked longingly into my eyes and I looked into yours. And I thought we had shared a moment. <laughs> Ass. Hello? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, you have lots of space for our ass. Huh? Do you have a lot of space for our asses? Because we, we're fat people. We're coming in tonight. we got big asses. We just want to know if you got a room for our asses. You have a reservation or you don't? No. I was just making... I wanted to find out if you had room for big fat asses in your hotel. What the fuck are you talking about, dog? Well, I'm a big fat man. I used yeah, to so weigh almost why, 600 pounds, and so I lost why, a lot of weight. I was down to 366, yeah. and yeah. Okay, fine. Any friends? Hello? I just want to become friends with you. Don't you want to touch me and hug me, and we can hug each other, and we can tell each other jokes, and we can we can have fun in the, in the hotel. And... California burrito. <laughs> It was a free burrito. With, uh, yeah, sounds like. Hello, ma'am. Yes, how can I help? I, you? Where, 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 what hotel is this? Holiday Inn. Oh, good, good. Oh my God, it's, this is you won't believe this. This is the last Holiday Inn in the country. I've called every Holiday Inn. You were the last one on the list, and I, I was calling to to tell you, fuck you. Hello? Yes, sir. Hi. You hear you heard? You heard what I say? No. I want the chingy suite. I need to get the chingy suite. What's that? 
That's remember the song he did Holiday Inn back in the day? He did like that song and then he disappeared off the face of the earth. Okay. So now I need to get the Chingy Sweet, please. Ma'am? Yeah. He did that one other song. There you go. Thank you for calling Travel Lodge. How can I help you? Bitch. Mom? Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, how can I help um, you? There's a, there's a woman in the room next to me, and she keeps doing the sign and sign language, you know, American Sign Language, ASL, uh, about, about fucking in the next room. What happened? Hello? What's your room number? Ma'am? What's your room number? Uh, 211. I say that because there's never anybody in fucking 215. Sir. Hello? 211 yes, is vacant. So what's your room number? Yeah, but that's because she doesn't know that someone's knocking because she's doing sign language. Sir, two eleven is vacant, so I need to know your room. No, no, I'm in two. I'm in. I'm in two eleven, and there's people over in two thirteen. They're deaf people, and they're having sex, and it's very obvious. They're having sex in Braille, and they're making a lot of noise touching the wall. Two eleven is vacant. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm. I'm. No. My name is Dwight. I'm not vacant. Oh, she's having me. Hey. That's their braille translator, ma'am. She's making the noise for them so that they can feel normal. They're they're not normies. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Can I have your name? Who is this? My name is Dwight, and I'm a criminal. Uh. Yeah, whatever. They want me to put it in you. Creature. Hello. Hello, how can I help you? Hey, I need a favor. Yes. Me and my girl Bappy, we I met her at uh I was at El Santo right now and I met her dancing and uh, we need a place to stay. Oh, we don't have any room. You don't have any rooms? No. Hey, can you hear? Hold on, listen to this. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Yes. Okay, I farted. Did you hear I farted on the phone? Yeah, I can hear you, sir. Well, talk to Bappy. Talk to my fucking friend Bappy, bitch. Um. I got I got Popeye forearms. Hello, we are not. Dollars, can I help you? Hey, buddy, I was just talking to that lady, and I told her if she could call me an Uber, and she said no. I just need to get to your hotel. Yeah, if you need to come, you have to get the Uber from yourself. We we don't have Uber service here. You don't have no one that can come get me? We're at Burgers and Brews? Hey, hold no, hey, no, hey, hey, homeboy, that, homeboy, 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 this guy sounds like a stupid motherfucker. Is he going to come get us or what? Hey, come hey on, man. fuck We're... you. Don't come here, okay? Hey, meet us at Burgers don't and Brews. Don't come here, okay? Meet me at Burgers and Brews right fuck now. Fuck you, okay? Don't come here, um, here, okay? I don't want you here, okay? Get the fuck out from at, here. I go to Zocalo's right now, motherfucker. You meet me at Zocalo's. I'm help you, man. Hey, hi, hi, hi. I need to uh, hang, hang, hang. I got a fax over. The, I got a fax over the paternity test. Do you think this guy can help us? Yes. Okay, so sir, the paternity test needs to be served to room uh, 115. Uh, the tenant in there uh, is about to be about to be a father. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yes. Of course yes. I am. Stupid. Hold a minute. Okay. Can you hold a minute, please? How, how, 
how long is a minute? Because I've been told a minute before, and it turned out nine months later, baby came out, it breached, and the arm was out of the vaginal cavity, and then the hospital had to come a, come a call in. I don't know why I'm saying this, but it happened. It happened. We met at UC Davis Medical when he was giving birth to our first child, motherfucker. Are you going to yeah. help us or not? Yeah. Hello? Are you going to help us? He's got the father's toes and the nanny's eyes. I met him on Stockton Boulevard. He was walking. And I gave him $10 to let me get him pregnant. Yeah. It's true. It's true. You know, on 34th Street, Thank you for calling. Super 8 by yeah. the Wyndham, Sacramento North. I, I dressed, it, I dressed it as Chi-Chi, but my real name is John Leguizamo. Super 8 Motel. Hey, bro, I need a favor. Can you come pick us up? We're at Burgers and Brews. Yeah, okay. I'll be on the way. I'm, I'm serious, bro. It's like right around the corner. We don't have a ride and we're drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, bro. I'll be there in five. What did you next search can help you? Oh, you got a whole foreign accent thing going on. What's with that? Hello? Yeah, he hi. Must be, he must be from Natomas. Oh, uh, what's with your what's with the accent? Are you foreign? No, I am American. I am wearing my mask. So <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Better now? <laughs> the mask is the mask is creating <laughs> that accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you are you the guy that played Fez on that '70s show? Is this Val Valderrama? Is that his name, Wilmer Valderrama? I'm not getting you. Oh. What is it? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Listen, I have a problem. All kinds of lime green jello in my bathtub. It's all stuck. You know, you know, is Jello? Mm-hmm. Sir, will you play along? Just say yes to anything I ask you, okay? Don't be an asshole. Do you understand? Capital City in. Honey, there's like a foul smell or something in this room. I don't uh, know. Which I don't know is? what it is, but. It's it's room 15. We don't have a 15. And, uh... Yeah. Well, maybe it's 12. I don't. I, I'm I'm sitting like next to the window. Like it's it's bad. Okay, can you it's just bad, let me know honey. the room number? I don't I'm know. I'm. I think so it's 12. Foul... I'm sorry. You said there's a foul smell. There's a foul smell. It's coming from the vents or something. Have you heard anything else coming from like the vents, like from other rooms? No, it, it, not it at all. It smells like eggs or something. It's Sulfur. Like but it's we don't bad. have that. Are you talking you don't about have vents in the room? No, we don't have vents in the room. It's just the AC unit and the window. Well, it's coming from the AC. Like I'm telling you, it's coming from the vents. It's coming from the unit itself. It's like bad. Like something bad. I don't know what it is. Can you give me the room number, ma'am? Because we don't have a room 15. That's what I was wondering. I'm telling you, it's 12. No, we don't have a room 12 either. It, it starts what do you mean? Uh, two. Oh, I'm no, sorry. It's three, I'm oh, dyslexic. It's, it's 201. We don't have a 201 either. It's a first floor, second, or third, but they're three-digit numbers. Well, I'm telling you, it's 201. I'm on the second floor. Okay, you got that other property. Uh, which property are you staying at? Are, this, are you looking for the travel lodge? Yeah, I'm looking for the travel lodge. I thought I called the right number. No, this is not the wrong. Asshole. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I I think it might be my husband. I think he has the door open. Asshole. Will you stop saying asshole, you fucking shit ass? Asshole. <laughs> oh my god, he's he's fucking swearing on his phone, fucking talking to TikTok. 
Asshole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling Macho 6 in the West Sacramento. May I help you? Hey, um, I'm right here at California Burrito. Okay. How far is that if I walk? Uh, California Burrito, where is that? It's right oh, there. Off, it's right there off Capitol. West Capitol? Yes. So, West Capitol, you take... Just tell, uh, how far from you. It's Just about, tell me how far it's uh, from you so I can walk with Beppy. We're drunk. It's about 20 minutes to walk. Fuck. Do you know where is Burgers and Brews? No. Uh, do you know... Um, do you know where is the bridge? Yes. How, how the o over the freeway? Yeah. How 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 far is bridge from you? How far is bridge? You mean the over freeway? Yes. On harbor, right? Yes. It's about a few minutes. A few minutes. To to motel six from the bridge. Yes. We are just behind uh, Dennis. Dennis, you're behind penis. Okay. Um, me and Beppy were drunk. We're gonna walk, but we we want we want to go. Hmm? You have reservation with us? No, we don't have reservation. We here. Talk to Beppy. She's right here. Talk to Beppy. Hello. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, who is this? This is Beppy. We don't know. I'm um, sorry, I don't. I don't remember you. You don't remember me? No. We had such good time. Uh, you stayed. You stayed. You, I'm sorry. Memories. Yeah, just come here. Uh, you need one bed, two beds. Beppy, what do you want? One bed or two beds? Uh, two one bed. What's your last name? Snape. How do you spell it? S N A P E. Snape. Her first name is Bappy. How do you spell first name? B A P P Y. That's her name. Okay, let's see. Is it last name How Wow? No, it's Wow, is it's Snape. I don't have you on record. Uh, what is your name? My name? Uh huh. You want to know my name? Yes. So, Gandhi? How do you spell it? S U G. Uh huh. O N D. Uh huh. E E S. Yeah, you know, just come here and uh, I have available room. You have rooms? Yes. Um, yes. What a, can we bring our friend Lulu? I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Can we bring Lulu? I don't know who is that. She's right here. Okay, She's right. Hold on, Lulu. 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 Lulu wants to talk to you. Hello. Okay. Ha ha, honey. Hello. Ha ha, honey. Who is that? That's Lulu. I'm Lulu. <laughs> We're we're all right here by by the kicking mule. You know where that is? I don't know. Hey, you know what? If you need a room, just come here. You know, uh, you need a room, just come over here and buy a room because uh, I have a guest in front. Well, of Lulu's me. right here. Listen to Lulu. You what, fucking listen to her. What's your phone number? Haha, -ha, man, we want to get a room. Man, we want to get a room. Oh, I think she unplugged the phone. Didn't disconnect, but it's gone. 
Hello? Yes. Hello, how you doing? My name is Kareem from the corporate office. How are you doing today? Good. Good to hear, good to hear. So we're having some issues on our end with your uh, with your phone system over there. Um, so it seems that we're just going to have to go through a quick reset. Um, do you have a gray cord coming out the back of your phone? Mm, uh, I have no idea, sir. Well, what we're going to need you to do is just to... Uh, Excuse me. What's your room number? Oh, I'm I'm not in the room, sir. I'm from corporate office. Oh, uh, manager is not available. I, I am new. I have no idea. That's, I I don't need the manager, sir. I just need to reset the phone. Could you just unplug the phone and plug it back in for me, sir? This phone. Yeah, the phone system that you're speaking on, can you unplug it and plug it back in for me? Okay. And let me know when that's done. Hey, honey, baby. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Uh, is this a restaurant? I'm taking a wild stab. Yes, this is Burgess and Brew. Okay. Oh, oh burgers, hey. burgers and brew. Okay, here's hey. here's my cousin. He he wants to talk to you. Okay. Hey, um, the lady made my spicy guac, and I say no pickles, and she put two fucking pickles on my plate. Uh, are you in the restaurant? No, I don't like that. I say every time no pickles, and you put two fucking pickles on my plate, and it tastes well, like you, shit. If you Stop talking to me like that, or I'm going to have to hang up. I can rarely and kindly help you. I just don't like that. Ma'am, 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 ma excuse me. If you must you not know who you're talking to. He's, he's a very important man. He'll talk to you any way he wants to, God damn it. Well, not to me. I'm sorry. But I will have to hang up because that's not a way to talk to some, to a person. So if you like to refund, okay, you right, can all please, please, your can order. I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Asshole. Yes, Can I talk course? to you? Sorry, my brothers are assholes. Um, so, yeah, we got some guacamole, and there was two fucking pickles on there, and definitely don't like those. Not oh, okay with that. It's open right now, so if you like uh, us to make the, remake the order or a refund, we will need your card present over here for a refund or, or remake the order. Can I just leave it outside? We by the dumpsters. Right That's where my brothers like to eat. They like to eat by the it's dumpsters. Asshole. I don't know why. Yeah, but can you meet us by Ace of Spades? Can you meet us by Ace of Spades they and bring like it the outside? Dumpsters. Dumpster baby. All right. Just leave it by the dumpsters outside. We'll pick it up. I, I can do that. How about Ace of Spades? Can you meet us by Ace of Spades? Right now we're still open. You can come inside, bring us the food that you didn't want and wasn't made the way you wanted, and we can give sure. you the I'm, in, the I'm afraid of enclosed spaces. I can't. I have claustrophobia. I can't go inside. We're, then just we're, bring we're right here by Uncle Vito's. Hey, fucking listen to me. We're right here by I'm Uncle Vito's here. pizza. Can you bring I'm it? not going to take this way you're talking to me. I'm sorry your order came out wrong. If you want to come inside, we can always help you with that. Come in, on, may I help you? Hi, I, I oh. need a room for me and my friends. We've all been drinking and inebriating with the devil's lettuce, right? Yeah. I am sorry, ma sir. Ma we are completely ma Ma'am, ma ma I had three Jose Cuervos and I've taken uh. my, pan my pants off, but I left my jock strap on. <laughs> okay. I am. We were, we were playing I, hand, I, we were playing I am a handball at the local rec center. I got sir. I'm I won. Sir, you we are completely stop booked. Star, right? It's on my dick. Hello. <laughs> we are completely I'm booked. You have a lovely sorry. night. No man, no. don't don't hey, no. Oh, Bitch, call me super raised. Tone speak. I'm gonna help you. Bruh. Hello. Hey, bro. Huh? Bro, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, what kind of shit are you guys pulling over here, bro? This old lady just came in my room. She said you gave her the okay to come in here? 
I don't know who you are, and no one gave me a key, so I don't know what you're talking about. You can come downstairs and talk this about old it. Lady I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's just one super red stone so he can help you. <laughs> hey, bro, it's the last time I'm going to call you, bro. It's, she's right here, bro. <laughs> what room number are you in? That would be helpful. <laughs> just... <laughs> All right, cool. You be safe. Thanks for calling Super Red Stone. Speaking, may I help you? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm, I'm, I'm on the way there. Do I need to make a reservation, or is it cool if I this just This is the like same person you just called about a little while ago, aren't you? No idea what you're talking about, bro. Okay. Yes, you would need to make a reservation. Hello. Okay. Uh, let me make the reservation for tonight, I guess, or today. Okay. Or you can just walk in, but yeah. You said I can just walk in because I'm, I'm driving right I'm now. I'm driving. Okay. Thank you for calling Motel 6, Sacramento North. This is Carl. How may I help you? Hey, Carl. How uh, how you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm currently on the way there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm about a couple of hours out. Can I just go ahead and make a reservation? If you would like. Okay. Are you looking uh, for one bed or two bed? Security. Uh, just a one. Just a solo dolo. <laughs> it is going to be $100.71 after tax. Oh, I'm sorry. It is one oh two ninety seven okay. after tax. And yeah, there's cool. the pause uh, of 150 I... All right. Can I get it for uh, three nights? For the total of the three nights, it would be two eighty four oh five after tax. There's the deposit okay. of one fifty, and we would have to have IDs for anybody going in the room. That's yeah, just no, racist, it's, man. That's racist as fuck. It's just gonna be me and my brother. I'm sorry. It's he gets a little loud sometimes. Yeah. What about the escorts? Will they need IDs? Come, guys. I'm just trying I'm to sorry. order the room. We're not trying to get in trouble here. Sorry, Unfortunately, sorry if it's going to be uh, like that, sir, we're nights. not going to rent to you guys. Sir, we're not. Do we're just on the way. We don't want any problems. Um, no, we're I understand. But wait, if you, a, you guys are going to be coming and making fighting. all that kind of noise like he is here on the phone, that's not going to work. No, we're coming. Chris Chris we're from Vallejo. We're from Vallejo. Crystal's not a hooker. She's an escort. Yeah, motherfucker. We're, we're just from trying Vallejo. to get the room, sir. We don't I'm want any problems. Yeah, I'm just trying to turn off all the to a house. Okay, honey, baby. There was a there was a mass a mass shooting Thank where this calling. area is like the other day. Hello, 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 hon, honey. Yeah, honey, there was there was a I I I made a mess in the pool area earlier today and um. I forgot to clean it up. I'm not sure if you need to send out somebody to uh, to the pool. Okay. And what room are you in? I'm in um I'm in room 126. Mm-hmm. Honey. And um. I got the tampons you asked for. Okay. Thank Thank you, hon. Okay. I just. <laughs>